Unveiling the Shadows of the Crown The Scandalous and Remarkable Life of King George VI King George VI, a monarch who led Britain through the critical era of World War II, had a reign marked not only by resilience and leadership but also by numerous controversies, scandals, and extraordinary events. This video explores 14 fascinating facets of his life, delving into both the scandalous and the remarkable, to paint a more nuanced picture of this significant historical figure. Number 1. The Reluctant King Prince Albert, Duke of York, later known as King George VI, ascended to the British throne in a most unexpected manner after his older brother, King Edward VIII, chose love over duty. Edward VIII's abdication on December 11, 1936, to Mary Wallace Simpson, an American divorcee, was a scandal that sent shockwaves through the monarchy and the nation. This sudden change in his life forced Albert, a man known for his severe stammer and reserved demeanor, into the forefront during a time of impending global conflict. Despite his personal challenges, including his well-known struggle with speech, George VI became a symbol of resilience and stability, particularly during World War II, where he played a crucial role in maintaining British morale. Number 2. The Marburg Files Controversy the discovery of the Marburg Files post-World War II was a significant event in the history of the British monarchy. These files contained correspondence between the abdicated King Edward VIII, now the Duke of Windsor, and high-ranking Nazi officials. The contents suggested a level of sympathy or connection between Edward VIII and the Nazis, a revelation that posed a serious threat to the monarchy's integrity. King George VI, who was then on the throne, played a critical role in managing the scandal's aftermath. His actions were key in preserving the monarchy's dignity and mitigating the potential damage to its reputation during a particularly vulnerable time for the British Empire. Number 3. Marriage Proposals The romance between Prince Albert, the future King George VI, and Elizabeth Bowes-Lyon, who would become the Queen Mother, had its fair share of challenges. Elizabeth initially rejected Albert's marriage proposals at least twice. Her hesitation stemmed from concerns about the immense responsibilities and the intense public scrutiny that came with marrying into the royal family. However, she eventually accepted his proposal, leading to their marriage on April 26, 1923, at Westminster Abbey. Their union, marked by mutual support and affection, provided a strong familial foundation for George VI, especially during his unexpected and challenging reign. Number 4. Historic U.S. Visit and Hot Dog Incident King George V.I.'s visit to the United States in June 1939 marked a significant diplomatic event, as he was the first reigning British monarch to visit the country. The visit, aimed at bolstering Anglo-American relations on the eve of World War II, included a notable moment with President Franklin D. Roosevelt at his Hyde Park estate in New York. During a picnic on June 11, 1939, President Roosevelt introduced King George VI to an American culinary staple, a hot dog. The king reportedly enjoyed the hot dog so much that he asked for seconds, a gesture that was seen as endearing and helped to bridge cultural gaps between the two nations. Number 5. Tennis at Wimbledon. In 1926, Prince Albert, Duke of York, the future King George VI, made a unique entry into the annals of Wimbledon history. He is the only member of the British royal family to have ever competed in the prestigious tennis tournament. Playing in the men's doubles event alongside his friend and equerry, wing commander Lewis Gregg, the duo, unfortunately, did not fare well in the competition. They were defeated in the first round. However, his participation in such a high-profile sporting event helped to humanize the royal family and showcased his personal interest in sports. Number 6. Rumors and Unsubstantiated Claims King George V.I.'s time as monarch was not without its share of rumors and speculation, some of which continue to captivate public interest. For instance, there were rumors suggesting he might have had extramarital affairs. A notable example is the alleged affair with Australian socialite Sheila Loughborough. Another example is the rumored affair with singer Jesse Matthews, a popular actress and singer of the time. These rumors, however, have never been substantiated with concrete evidence and remain part of the speculative narrative surrounding his personal life. Additionally, speculation about his private political opinions also circulated. 
One such rumor suggested that he had a strong dislike for Prime Minister Winston Churchill early in his tenure, although this supposed animosity later turned into a deep respect. Number 7. Royal Navy Service. Before his ascension to the throne, George VI, then Prince Albert, served in the Royal Navy during World War I. He began his naval training in 1913 at the Royal Naval College, Osborne, and later at Dartmouth. His service included time aboard the HMS Collingwood during the Battle of Jutland on May 31, 1916, the largest naval battle of World War I. This period in the Navy was crucial in shaping his character, teaching him values of discipline and resilience, which later influenced his reign as king during World War II. Number 8. Controversial Association with Neville Chamberlain King George VI's association with Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain became a point of controversy after Chamberlain's return from Munich in September 1938. The Munich Agreement, known for its policy of appeasement towards Adolf Hitler, was later viewed as a significant diplomatic failure. The king's public appearance with Chamberlain on the balcony of Buckingham Palace was criticized by historians, notably John Grigg, as the most unconstitutional act by a British sovereign in the present century, due to its implication of royal endorsement of the government's policy. Number 9. Near Misses During World War II During the Blitz of 1940, King George VI and Queen Elizabeth had a narrow escape from death when Buckingham Palace was bombed on September 13, 1940. Two German bombs exploded in the courtyard, significantly damaging the palace. Their decision to stay in London during the bombings, and to live on the same rations as the general British populace, significantly bolstered their public image. This act of resilience and solidarity with the people was a powerful symbol of defiance and unity against the enemy enhancing national morale during a critical time in the war. Number 10. Coronation Mishaps King George VI's coronation, held on May 12, 1937, at Westminster Abbey, was not without its awkward moments. One of the most notable mishaps occurred when the imperial state crown was placed on his head incorrectly, causing a brief moment of embarrassment. This was a significant faux pas, given the solemnity and highly choreographed nature of the ceremony. Additionally, there was a heart-stopping moment when the Dean of Westminster, while carrying the St. Edward's crown, used for the actual moment of crowning, nearly dropped it. The crown was fortunately secured by a ribbon to the cushion it rested on, averting a potential disaster. These incidents, while minor, added a human touch to the otherwise stately and formal coronation. Number 11 fluent in multiple languages. Contrary to the portrayal in the film The King's Speech, King George VI was actually quite adept with languages. He was fluent in German, French, and Latin. This linguistic proficiency is often overlooked but is a testament to his education and intellectual abilities. His ability to speak multiple languages would have been particularly useful in his dealings with foreign dignitaries and during state visits, allowing him to communicate more directly and effectively. Number 12. Secret Dealings with Irish Leaders During World War II, King George VI was reportedly involved in clandestine discussions with Irish leaders about the issue of Irish neutrality. Ireland's neutrality was a sensitive subject, as Britain sought to ensure its western flank remained secure against potential German aggression. These secret negotiations with leaders like Eamon de Valera, the then Tawasich, Prime Minister, of Ireland, were crucial and delicate, given the geopolitical stakes. The handling of these discussions was vital, had they been mismanaged or made public in the wrong manner, they could have led to significant political and public backlash, both in Ireland and Britain. Number 13. First Televised Coronation. The coronation of King George VI, held on May 12, 1937, was a groundbreaking media event, as it was the first ever to be televised. This marked a significant milestone in the history of television, being the country's first major outside broadcast. While the ceremony inside Westminster Abbey was not televised, the coronation procession was, allowing the public to witness the regal spectacle in a way never before possible. This event was not only a momentous occasion for the British monarchy but also a landmark in the evolving relationship between mass media and royal events. Number 14. 
Health Decline and Death King George VI's reign was overshadowed by serious health problems. In 1949, he nearly lost his leg due to an arterial blockage, necessitating surgery and leading to the postponement of an important tour. His health was further compromised by lung cancer, a consequence of his heavy smoking, which resulted in the removal of his left lung in 1951. Despite these efforts, his health continued to deteriorate, and King George VI passed away in his sleep from a coronary thrombosis on February 6, 1952, at the relatively young age of 56. His death marked the end of his reign and the beginning of Queen Elizabeth II's, bringing a significant era in British history to a close.